Welcome to another Lawn Fawn video. Today I am introducing our brand new Narwhal and Friends die set. This die set is awesome because you can make three different critters with it, so let's go ahead and check it out. Here you can see all of the dies in this set. First we have the main body, then the base for the body. We have some rosy cheeks, a little snout, a belly and a horn for the Narwhal, a whale spout, and then a cute little hat to put on these critters. So I'm going to start off with the narwhal. So I have cut the main part of the narwhal out of narwhal cardstock, and then I have some black licorice cardstock for the back. I've used some cream cardstock for his belly and for his horn. Then my favorite part, some rosy cheeks cut from some guava cardstock. It really does just give him that finishing cute touch. Next up, I'm going to make the seal. So I have cut him from some white cardstock, and I have some storm cloud cardstock in the back to fill in his eyes. Then I'm going to work with some cream cardstock and some black cardstock to create his cute little snout. So I'm just going to layer that black one right behind the one with the cutout. And then I can layer that right onto the cute seal. Now I've cut his little beanie from some chili pepper and noble fur cardstock and I'm just going to layer all these pieces together. So we'll put the bottom part of the hat and then the little ball on the top of the hat too. Next up, I can add the hat to the seal, and he is just so cute with that hat. It's adorable. And of course, you could have him with or without the beanie, but I think with the beanie is just too cute. Last but not least, I have the whale. So I've cut him from some peacock cardstock, and I'm layering storm cloud cardstock behind him. And then I cut the belly and the spout from some mermaid cardstock, and I'm just going to layer those pieces on. And I just love him. He is just so cute. And I'll just put that spout right behind him. And then I'll give him some rosy cheeks too because I just think that would be really cute. And then he is all finished. And here is a look at the three critters that you can make with this set. It's, they're just so cute, I can't get over it. Now I wanna make these into mini cards. So here I have some storm cloud cardstock and I'm just gonna score right down the middle. Then I'm gonna fold this in half and crease it really well with my bone folder. Then I'm going to be using that base die, the one without the face, and I'm going to line that right on the top, but you can see the little top of the die is above the score line, and you'll see why we're going to do that in one second. So I'm going to hold that in place with some low-tack tape, run it through my die cut machine, and now when I remove it, because that top part was above the cardstock, it creates a folded card base in the shape of the narwhal. So you'll see how cute that is. I just love that little opening card. And then now I can layer my narwhal die cut right on top, creating a cute custom little mini card that would make absolutely anyone's day. Now I'm gonna repeat the same thing with the rest of my critters. So I'm gonna take that die, make sure that the top of the die is above the fold line, run it through my die cut machine, and create another little folded card. And then I can layer my whale on top of this one, and then my seal on top of the third card base that I've cut. And not only are they sweet little mini cards, but they could also just be little decorative elements because they can stand up perfectly with those card bases on them. Now here I wanted to show you how I would turn one of these into a tag. So I'm going to thread some mistletoe lawn trimmings right through the base of the card, and then I can tie a knot, creating an easy, quick tag that I could write a little message on the inside too. So once I have that double knot tied, then I can tie a little bow on the top, and it's ready to add to any present. Next up, I thought it would be fun to create a card with the narwhal, which honestly is my favorite one of all of the three critters. And so here I am stamping the lake from Dad Plus Me in some Versamark ink. I'm putting some clear heat embossing powder on it, and then I'm going to heat that up with my heat gun, creating kind of a cool iceberg look to it. I'll cut that out with my die, and now I'm ready to start working on the card. I'm using one of the stitched ovals to cut some peacock cardstock. And I've also cut some stitched mountain borders from some craft cardstock too. Here I have some Blue Jay cardstock and I'm going to cut the oval from that and then cut it with my ocean wave borders to create a cool ocean for my narwhal to hang around in. Now here I'm going to do kind of a fun technique. I am using a little foam ink dauber and putting some white pigment ink onto my ocean and kind of smearing it in onto that ocean area. After I've done that, I'm going to take a baby wipe and wipe across the white ink. And as I do that, you'll see that it's going to create this cool look that almost looks like kind of ocean movement. 
I'm gonna keep passing that baby wipe over the card until it gets that perfect cool look that I'm looking for. And then I can cut my stitch mountain borders with that same oval because I'm gonna layer all of these pieces together and I want them to all have the stitch detail around them. Next, I'm gonna add the little snow caps to the top of my mountains, which I think really just gives it a really cute look. And then I'm going to use the background builder from Snow Cool with some Yeti ink again and stamp that on my base panel to have some really cute snowfall for behind my narwhal. Then I can start layering all of my pieces with foam tape. So I'm gonna put the mountains down with foam tape and also put my ocean down with foam tape so that it becomes this really cool three-dimensional scene. Then I can add my cool Dad Plus Me iceberg on there and then put a bunch of foam tape on my narwhal and layer him right on top. Next up, I wanna create an oval shaped card base. So I'm gonna fold over here a piece of white cardstock, and then just like before, I'm gonna take my oval and let the top part of the die be above that folded score line, run it through my die cut machine, and then this is gonna create a card base because the top part wasn't cut by the die. So you'll see a really, really cool oval shaped card base. Next up, I can take my whole die cut scene here and layer that right on top of the oval. And then I'm gonna take out the Merry Messages stamp set, which has awesome sentiments for the insides of cards. And I thought this one that says, wishing you lots of smiles would be perfect to go along with this cute little smiling narwhal. This card was so much fun together and I really had a blast playing with all of my die cuts. Now next up, I wanted to use some felt with these dies. These dies are perfect for cutting out of felt and I thought it'd be fun to make an ornament. So I've got my hot glue gun out here and I'm gonna layer all of my pieces just like I did with the cardstock, but this time they're cut from felt. Now because I wanted his eyes to be black but I didn't want the base of him to be black, I just cut a tiny little square that I could hide behind him. I'm gonna layer it right behind his eyes, then add glue there to that felt and line up the base because I want it to glue itself to the base, but I wanna make sure that it's lined up perfectly. So you'll see I'm gonna layer that base one right on top. It's gonna pick up that black piece and then when I layer them when I'm all done, the black will show through the eyes. Next up, I'm gonna add these cute little rosy cheeks to this narwhal, and I'm using some tweezers because I burnt myself about 15 times before I finally remembered to use the tweezers, so I definitely recommend those. Now here, I thought this could be kind of a cute idea, and that would be to hot glue him to a little hair clip. I think it would be adorable in a little girl's hair for the holidays. I just think it'd be so funny and cute. So there's one idea, but this time what I wanted to do was to create an ornament. So I've got some ribbon here that I'm just going to cut down. I'm going to add some hot glue and lay that ribbon right in there, right on the base of this narwhal. So I'm just going to fold it over and then push it into the hot glue. And then after that, I can add hot glue to the rest of the base, but I wanna make sure to avoid the black felt because I don't want any hot glue to seep through his eyes or his smile. So I'm gonna put lots of hot glue around, but avoiding that black felt area. And then I can take the main narwhal image and layer that right on top, creating a really cool felt ornament that was really quick and easy to make. So here you can see just how cute he is, and when he hangs, he's just adorable. I'm thinking about making a ton of these and getting one of those little mini Christmas trees and making an entire narwhal Christmas tree. I think it'd be really, really cute. So here is a look back at all of the projects that we made with this set. We have this cute card with the fun Merry Messages sentiment on the inside. Then here we have this great little felt ornament, which could be a felt hair tie or who knows what else you could come up with. And then these cute little mini cards that are just so sweet and adorable and work really, really well as tags too if you run some string through them. So I cannot wait to see what you guys create with Narwhal and Friends, so make sure to share it with us. Thank you so much for watching and have an absolutely amazing day. Bye!